the emphasis today has been too much on rights. Nobody speaks about duties. There are no seminars on duties. One PIL was filed, notice was issued by Chief Justice Anand. I was appointed as amicus. And in such good cases, die a natural death. It was almost made infectious. No inquiry was made, no hearing was made. Because nobody likes about to be talked about duties, you know. Therefore, everybody wants rights. We have to today talk about women's rights. And if Justice Krishna referred to the Muslim women claiming a right of entry in Bombay and the Hindu women claiming a right of entry in the temple at Sabarimala. Therefore, it is, we are, it is a tragedy that in a country of India we have to hold seminars for rights of women. A country where women were held in the highest of esteem. Yatra Naryas to Pujante, Ramante Tatra Devataha, Yatra Isha to Nabujante, Tatrasa Apalakriya. Only places where women are given their due place of pride, there whatever you do will bear fruit. If you don't give them that due place, then whatever you do will not yield results. If you want learning, you must go to Saraswati. If you want wealth, you have to go to Lakshmi. If you want Shakti, you have to go to Bhagavati. And all the, everything had been good. The mistake was in interpretation. Interpretation by the conservative scholars, the people like Prataparudra, finished their women with regard to their right to succession. Da Widow Dhatarila was finished. There were also people like Viswarupa, Vijnaneswara, who interpreted it correctly. One illustration, for instance, a predeceased son's widow is entitled to a share. But they were denied the share and thrown to the wolf. Hindu women said property had to be passed. That only gave them a woman's estate. Then, till 1956, Hindu Succession Act came. The text was misinterpreted. If a son predeceases the father, the widow daughter in law is entitled to share. Because the, the text was how misinterpreted was, a rule need not be stated. An exception had to be stated. The rule that the daughter-in-law gets need not be stated. But the, when they are giving the order of succession, it included the mother and the grandmother. The, therefore, I mean, that means the, the mother and grandmother of the, our, our husband, not hers. Because his property goes by succession. Why? Because all the ladies had to be taken care of. This was the text. The exception is, they, normally they don't inherit. Why? Because when the son is alive, he takes care of them. The mother and grandmother, he takes care of them. Uh, the, the text, sometimes I forget the text also. Therefore, the, 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 even Manu's text was mis has been misinterpreted. Pitar Rashati, Kama Bhartar Rashati, even that is mistaken. It is not as if the women of the position are reduced, but it is casting a duty on them to see, don't see that they suffer. Everywhere, the, because dharma talks only of duties. It does not talk of rights. Therefore, it imposes a duty on them, please take care of them. This is interpreted by approaching it from the wrong end, namely rights. It is not to diminish their rights. Having given them their rights, how will it diminish it? Eminent judges have failed in interpretation. Forget Prataparudras. Vardhacharya are failed in the Supreme Court, in the Federal Court, when interpreting Hindu Minister Property Act. He interpreted separate property means it includes uh, uh, partition in the joint family property, it includes self figure property, but it will not include the property of his sole surviving co person. Yeah, an eminent Hindu lawyer who knew Sanskrit. Another eminent judge who dominated the Supreme Court bar, Mr. Sir, I do not tell the names, I should, I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize for I am told Bharata Chair. You can, you can guess who this is. He dominated the Supreme Court bar. He held your father is not bound to meet the marriage expenses of his daughter unless he has inherited ancestral property. He need not meet it from his self secured property. The text says, Prabhupada Dwada Se Varsha Yakanyam na Prayachati, Mata Chaiva Pita Chaiva, Jeshta Brata Tataiva Cha, Trayate, Nargam Yanti, Dhrishtva Kanyam Ratastala. He is a text. He says recommendatory and not mandatory. The Hindu Women's Right to Maintenance Act now provides. I'm sorry, Maintenance and Adoption Act, I make a mistake in taking it, provides an explanation to a section 
maintenance includes marriage expenses of the daughter. You see how the, the mistake is not in the ancient text. They are being condemned. They are being ridiculed. The mistake is interpretation. Interpret, judges also interpret. They can also go wrong. Commentators can go wrong. Nobody is infallible. But if your vada is correct, sadvada, and not vatanda vada or jalpa vada, you get the result. The result always advances public good. Because if you are on the path of righteousness, dharma does not do injustice. Dharma only enjoins people to do their duties. And if everybody in this country performs his duty, whose rights will be affected? What is the need for a 32 petition? What is the need for a PIL? And today's Supreme Court is flooded only with PILs.